Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sight back with another video for you guys today. And in today's video, you already know what it is. By the title, we're talking about how I think and my opinions are on the Dragon Off and how I think it's kind of like the Barret. So we're going to get right into the video. No holding back. Let's get going. So as you guys can see in the background, I have some gameplay of the Dragon Off being used. I went and got that earlier. Uh, before I started recording this, but that doesn't matter um, In my opinion, I think that the dragon off is one of the best snipers right off the bat so like um, Without the AX50 having any attachments that gun is complete like garbage. You cannot use it There is no way Like you can use it you zoom in too slow. You can't actually rush you got to sit back and worry about you know just sitting back and sniping you can't rush it with the 850 just starting off um you can do that with the dragon off i have done it I, I don't think i have any clips with it because i did uh, a little bit ago but you can definitely rush the hell out of um the dragon off when you first unlock it uh it's the starting weapon so you, you put it on you can rush that's the dragon off zooms in fast without any attachments on it which is crazy um the only thing that i think is the problem with it is it can zoom in faster which we'll get into that but in my opinion i feel like there's not enough damage on it um and i i i'm pretty far on the weapon levels on the dragon off but i haven't seen an fmj yet so i don't know if that's going to be the last um perk on the weapon but i don't know i haven't seen one yet and without like some sort of fmj increasing damage something the gun kind of doesn't support the way it zooms in which is understandable you got to have everything um compromised and put together well and engineered you know you can't have a really fast zoom in weapon with like a high caliber you know what i mean so like the dsr it, it zoomed in slow but it it was always a one shot one kill you know what i mean just like the 850 um so in my opinion i feel like the dragon off is one of the best snipers in the game at the beginning um i'm getting more into it putting more attachments on it as you can see i have some gameplay in this video of with no attachments or with like minimal attachements like a, um, um, a muzzle on it that's it to a barrel and a stock and a alternate scope on it and i'm telling you it changes the way that the you can use the dragon off um in my opinion i feel like the dragon off is a, a less version of the barrett i feel like they could have brought the Barrett back, let's be honest here. The Barrett was in the MW2, MW3. Um, they could have brought it back to, oh, and Modern Warfare, or COD 4. They could have brought it back to Modern Warfare, but they decided not to. And I think that's what the replacement was, was the Dragonov, which is a really good weapon. Um, as you guys can see, I'm going ham with it at some points. And um, I almost hit a couple clips. I don't know if I'm going to put those in. But, the way this sniper feels, it feels just like the Barrett. The aim, the zoom in, um, the way you move around with it, it feels like the Barrett. Um, the only problem with it is it's not a 50 caliber, so you, you know, the Barrett would, you know, almost kill someone one shot almost every single time. The problem with this gun, it's not gonna do that. You're gonna get hit markers, you're gonna have to, you know, tap them once, tap them twice. That's why this gun is not really reliable, but studying up sniping on this game, this is the go-to weapon before the AX-50. Um, you're going to have to level the AX-50 up in order for the AX-50 to actually be good. Um, I do have a video coming out tomorrow on the AX-50, so if you guys do want to, you know, see that and see how to turn the bad AX-50 into the good AX-50, make sure to stay tuned and subscribe post a uh, notification so you all get notified when I post that video tomorrow but moving on the Barrett compared to the Dragunov um, yes the Barrett is a lot better compared to the actual Dragunov 
but in my opinion i thought the dragon off is up there with the barret um the only problem with it is that it doesn't have the high caliber bullets and it takes a long time to actually kill someone you get in i i don't know uh in the video but i was getting a bunch of hit markers and i was getting frustrated the only way i wouldn't get a hit marker was if i was aiming from chest up and it's really hard to do that with a semi-auto because like i was saying guys aiming the dragon off is really really difficult due to the fact that it's semi-auto you're not always going to get the one shot one kills that you want there's multiple times that i have and you'll see that in the video but most of the time i was getting the hit markers it was just you know it was frustrating it was terrible if you don't have the patience and you know you're relaxed with call of duties i would not use this sniper because you're just not gonna have a good time with it um i had an amazing time i was having a blast playing this uh playing with this sniper due to the fact that it was just like the Barrett. I felt like I was back in another COD playing with the Barrett and it just felt so good. But is the Dragunov like as good as the Barrett? Like, let's be honest here. Do I think the Dragunov is up there, you know, and overtopping the Barrett and all the other CODs? See, the problem with that is we, we can't really determine if the Dragunov is better than, you know, the Barrett and all the other cards. Why? Because every other card has its different, you know, movements and how the game rolls out. You know what I mean? Like MW2, it was more based on new tubes, everyone sitting back, you know, chilling, new tubing, claymores, C4s, sniping. That was mainly MW2. Um, MW3, same thing. It was more new tubes, it was more action it was rushing and you know the snipers weren't really doing well um what else had the bear cod 4 like i didn't really play that game all that much but we can't really tell if the bear is as good as or the dragon off is as good as the bear in my opinion i feel like the bear is just an inch above because you barely got hit markers with it and like when i used it but the dragon off is up there with the bear i feel like a little bit of um damage increased and the dragon off would be up there with the barrett guaranteed um i haven't got the weapon fully unlocked uh level wise and once i do that i might make another video about this but for the time being in my opinion the barrett is over top the dragon off but the dragon off is up there um for real, like I think the Dragonoff could even go over top the AX50. But like I said, guys, the Dragonoff is a good sniper at the beginning when you're first studying sniping, trying to level up and everything like that. But do I think it overtops the Barrett? No. But the Barrett, if the Dragonoff had just a little bit faster aim down speed and a um, little bit more damage i feel like the barrett and the dragon off would be at the same level and the same line do i think the dragon off is good in modern warfare yes but it has its ups and downs which i don't want to get into right now um but i don't think any sniper rifle can go above the barrett in the intervention due to the fact they're revolutionary let's be honest here if it wasn't for the uh intervention and the Barrett, there would be, there probably would not be sniping or trick shotting to this day. There's multiple snipers out there that y'all can say that, but I think that the Barrett and the Intervention are the two snipers that actually made sniping and trick shotting enjoyable, along with the Black Ops 2, with the Ballista and the DSR. But that doesn't matter. Dragon off, up there with the Barrett, yes. Over top the Barrett, no almost best sniper in the game maybe depending on if you're starting out or not but that's all for you guys today i hope you guys did enjoy the video make sure to let me know what your opinions on opinion on modern warfare is and your favorite weapon down in the comment section below make sure to like and comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to see my next video that i'm posting tomorrow which is about the ax50 if you guys want to know how to overpower your AX50 
make sure to come back and watch that video because the X50 is OP once all the way leveled up. Guarantee it. So, I, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button so you know when I upload a video. And also, make sure to hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all down below. And if you want to see me live on Twitch where I get all my gameplay or I record videos, make sure to hop over there. Also, be down in the description below. Make sure to drop me a follow. Talk to you guys in the next video. And peace.